There are many ways to tell stories in video games, but often the most direct method is the best. We're talking, of course, about cutscenes, and crafting good cutscenes is no easy task. Cinematography, direction, acting, writing, sound, and visuals come together in these storytelling vignettes, and often they do so in magical ways, thanks to the talents of the people making them. Here, we're going to talk about 10 developers who make the best video game cutscenes. Before we go ahead, a quick request. We upload new videos every single day, and your subscription matters a lot. So please consider subscribing and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. With that out of the way, let's begin. Rockstar, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption. You're pathetic. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving a pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. Rockstar has always excelled at storytelling, and their talents have only become that much more prominent as time has gone on. Grand Theft Auto V's bombastic storytelling style shines through in each of its cutscenes, but the game where the studio really flexes its muscles is Red Dead Redemption 2. It hits so many notes, and hits nearly all of them perfectly. Adrenaline-fueled action, quiet moments of introspection, sweeping views of gorgeous vistas, light-hearted moments of humor, and so much more. Machine Games – Wolfenstein Wolfenstein was never really a story-driven franchise, but when Machine Games took the series' reins, that changed radically. Under the Swedish developer, Wolfenstein has emphasized story and storytelling heavily, and it does so with some of the best cutscenes you will ever see in games. Tightly written character interactions, scenes that allow the complex relationships and layered characters shine bright, sequences that embrace the hyperactive violence of the setting with an almost Tarantino-esque flair. Every single cutscene in the Wolfenstein games is a spectacle. RGG Studios – Yakuza – Judgment If you were to just pass a casual glance at any cutscene from the Yakuza or Judgment games, you would be confused about RGG Studios' placement on this list. It makes sense. On a surface level, the cutscenes look silly, overacted, and over the top. However, when you view them in the context of the games, they become a lot more potent and effective. Matching the tone of the games, their characters, and their stories perfectly, the cutscenes manage to straddle the line between being serious and high stakes and goofy and silly all at once. That they do it so well and so consistently without inducing any whiplash is ultimately what makes RGG Studios masters of their craft. P Studio Persona You must have seen this one coming. Pretty much everything that Atlas's P-Studio has touched over the last couple of decades has turned to gold, or crimson gold, or purple gold, and that stands true for their game's cutscenes as well. Just look at Persona 5, for instance. It's hyper-stylized anime in the best way possible. Every cutscene is full of flourishes, every major moment punctuated perfectly by crescendos of hype-inducing music, every line of dialogue delivered with just the right oomph. That shouldn't be surprising either, seeing as even the game's most insignificant menu screens are bursting with almost excessive personality. It makes sense that so too are the cutscenes. Naughty Dog The Last of Us Uncharted What's the WLF move? What are you doing? You know what? I'm leaving tomorrow. And if you want to come with me, great. You have no idea what you're walking into. You don't know how large that group is, how armed... I don't care. You can't talk me out of this. There are few developers in the industry who can tell a story as expertly and effectively as Naughty Dog can. So of course, it follows that they make excellent cutscenes as well. And what really speaks to their talent is their ability to tailor their talent and abilities to the kind of game that they're making. Uncharted games boast high-octane, bombastic, blockbuster cutscenes, while The Last of Us goes for something much more grounded and somber. And Naughty Dog executes both with absolute perfection, without fail. And of course, we'd be remiss to not mention the fact that they're probably the best at seamlessly transitioning from cutscenes to gameplay, and vice versa. Insomniac Games Spider-Man Ratchet & Clank 
Insomniac is probably the most well-rounded studio around right now, seeing as they deliver excellent-looking games that tell great stories and are a blast to play, and do so with surprising regularity. Cutscenes in the likes of Spider-Man and Ratchet & Clank might not have the blockbuster appeal of something like Uncharted or the overwhelming sense of style of Persona, but they're incredibly effective at what they set out to do. Conveying everything from slick action to heartwarming character interactions to gleeful humor and so much more through cutscenes is not easy, but Insomniac's games do it almost effortlessly. NetherRealm Studios Mortal Kombat Injustice You don't usually associate storytelling and memorable cutscenes with the fighting genre, but NetherRealm is a huge and glaring exception to that rule. Mortal Kombat and Injustice are both extremely focused on telling chaotic and gleefully over-the-top stories, and the studio's stylish, slick cutscenes fit that tone perfectly. Whether you're looking at the unexpected fights and interactions of the most iconic DC characters, or the shockingly brutal violence that Mortal Kombat characters always indulge in, cutscenes crafted by NetherRealm never miss the mark. Of course, it helps that every single one of their games looks so darn good. Easy enough. What's next? SIE Santa Monica Studio. God of War. Struck a nerve, did I? Who are you hiding? Low and old, you should never have come to Midgard. The two eras of God of War are extremely different from each other. One is over the top and constantly revels in it, and the other, newer era, is thoughtful and intimate. It really says something about SIE Santa Monica as storytellers that they've succeeded at both styles in such impressive fashion. The series' cutscenes have gone from the adrenaline-fueled highs of fighting literal titans against sweeping backgrounds of staggering scale to the diametrically opposed cinematics of the 2018 game, with its one-shot camera and extremely zoomed-in style. And yet, each method has been equally effective. We cannot wait to see where this series goes next. Kojima Productions Metal Gear Solid Death Stranding Okay, so Kojima's cutscenes are not without their failings. Often, they make no sense. Often, they're unbelievably stupid. Often, characters talk the way no real human has ever spoken before, and hopefully never will. Often, they're bogged down by excessive, heavy-handed exposition. All of these things are true. Clearly, they're not consistent. But when they're good, they're so good. We're not burying them at sea. What then? We'll make diamonds from their ashes. Take them into battle with us. A shining light to our brothers in arms, even in death. We are diamond dogs.
Hideo Kojima has never hidden his love for cinema and filmmaking, and he takes every chance he gets to show that off in his games. Across Metal Gear Solid and Death Stranding, he and his team have crafted some truly stunning cutscenes that invoke memorable imagery. Sure, not all of his cutscenes are winners, but the ones that are have stayed with us long after we first witnessed them. Square Enix Final Fantasy Final Fantasy storytelling is a crossroads where the over-the-top anime direction and typical blockbuster cinematic flair meet. Managing both these approaches simultaneously within a single experience can be a challenging task, given how unique they are from one another. But Square Enix does it time and time again with Final Fantasy. With pleasure. <laughs> 2020's Final Fantasy VII Remake is the perfect example of that, and though the game's cutscenes are certainly not perfect, the excessive and unnecessary grunts and noises the characters make can be more than a little infuriating at times, there's little doubt that, at their best, cutscenes in the game and the series as a whole are spectacular affairs. So, what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.